So I've got this problem with this MacBook Pro from around 2011 that um, in the sound settings it shows that the um, out, outgoing audio is set to digital out and if you put in a headphone it correctly switches to headphones but then when it comes back it goes to digital out and this is a common problem that I've found you know in my searches that a lot of times you can just use a toothpick or a pin there's a lot of videos on how to get that um, the little sensing pin in here to come back out but I haven't been able to get any of them to work and so I did a little searching and I found that there's a resistor that you can take out that goes between the audio sense line and uh, circuit and the audio chip and you can take that chip out that resistor out and then that completely disables your SPDIF um, output your um, digital output but I'm not going to use that anyway so I'm just going to disable that and see if I can get this machine so that the internal speakers start working again here's another telltale sign is when the port's glowing red that means that it's set up for the SPDIF or the audio digital out and um, it should not be like that unless uh, there's actually a connector for it in there. So I've got a copy of the schematic here and this uh, CS4206 chip I looked it up and it's got the sense A line and if you double the, the current draw on that line it switches between the audio out and uh, so if you look at this net audio sense A you'll find that um, it connects to this network of resistors here and um, and then these MOSFETs that are just kind of looks like they're depending on whether the sleeves are enabled um, when you plug in the jack it switches on and drops current across these resistors and so um, this is the audio port B detector and so the resistor that I saw that people recommended pulling is this R6805 and so it's a 20k resistor and you see what it's doing is it's when the MOSFET turns on it's drawing current through here sense A sees it and uh, flips to the um, optical output or the SPDIF so this is the resistor we want to pull so I've got this program called board viewer and I found a board file for this particular motherboard and so I'm gonna search for that resistor and it found it let's see if I can get this all on here so if I click on this resistor you can see here that it's connected to that MOSFET and then if I go to pin 13 which is that um, audio sense on the audio board we can kind of see that it's uh, connected as well to that um, to that part as well so this is kind of showing me where or actually it's exactly showing me where I need to go to um, pull that resistor and it's on the back side of the board. So you can see the So you can see the MOSFET there, and then there's a resistor there. So there's two, and so I just need to pull that out of there. And if you look at the diagram, again it's right there. There's the little MOSFET, there's the, the resistor. So let's pull that out.
Well, and there you have it. You can see that um, now it shows internal speakers, which it should. Which is nice. And... Mailbag uh, shots in recent times. The last the sound time, works. Five or ten mailbag... So it was a little dicey getting that resistor out of there. If you're not comfortable with it, I would uh, take it to somebody and have them take it out. And uh, also make sure you've got the right motherboard. You'd hate to take out the wrong part. Anyways, that's what I got. Bye.